So I've been receiving comments on occasion where, hey, are you still going to do visual novel reviews? And the answer is, I don't know. It's not like I'm opposed to it. It's just um, I don't necessarily have as much time these days. And um, I have been re the visual novels that I read are all basically care gays. I mean, there's still some I could talk about that I've played that are story oriented, but I've always had that issue where how do you talk about a care gay? Isn't it more just, well, I think this girl is really cute and I like spending time with her and I like seeing her develop and yeah, and I like cute romance. <laughs> It's just so difficult for me to talk about this game. I'm like, what do I even say? Because I easily someone could say, oh, well, you know, this route was very boring. There wasn't much character development. I'm like, oh, well, can't really argue with that. I mean, but I enjoy them anyway. Um, like, for example, I think on Steam, uh, they're, they're translating, like, a lot of these b lately uh, compared to back in the day. I can't vouch on the translation because I read them in Japanese, but um, whatever. It seems like people enjoy them regardless, and uh, I think that's always been the case. You know, I read Kira Kira with an awful translation, and I'm like, oh, whatever. you know, I read it in Japanese first, then I read it with the awful translation, and then I went back and read bits of it again and with uh, when, you know, my Japanese was better, and uh, I was still able to enjoy that game just fine, so whatever. Just, just do whatever you want. Um, uh, don't, don't worry about any of that stuff. Don't worry about all the, you know, oh, read in Japanese, read in English, oh, what, 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 you know. That's my stance on that crap. Um, it's just, uh, th those are just really difficult for me to talk about. I, I don't know how I would properly review them. Again, I feel like every review would be the same. The only uh, Kerage I could uh, really vouch with confidence, like I'm like, this is the cream of the crop Kerage, is Gini Roharika, which hasn't been translated. Like, like I think you got like a partial translation patch and then it was killed, but you know, with the way Steam games are, um, you know, then uh, uh, it's possible it will get a translation uh, one of these days. Um, I would say it's much more likely than unlikely. But uh, I don't know. They they would have to at least bring out one of the game. Like, uh, if I'm not mistaken, like Hoshiori Yume Mirai has a translation and Hatsukoi 101 has a translation. Just not Gina Raharka, not Sukina Kanata Aimasho, which I did read, Sukina Kanata Aimasho, which I, uh, mini review, I don't like it as much as those, as uh, uh, Gina Raharka or Hoshiori Yume Mirai. Um, it, 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 it's okay, like, it's okay, it has a bit of more, it's more story-oriented, kinda, but, uh, I'm not a big fan of its gimmick, I, and the protagonist kind of annoys me at times, but, um, really like the main girl, though, <laughs> if, if they're, because, uh, once again, you know, I'm just simple-minded like that, <laughs> so, uh, but, uh, I haven't quite finished it yet, either, but, uh, so, I, I once again, mini-review, so that's just my thoughts on it for the moment um but yeah it's just uh that, that's what i've been reading is a lot of those kind of games uh really enjoyed cafe stella by the way um once again i would not expect much from that game but i love the voice acting love the how the characters converse with one another i love the general banter of the characters love that game um love the music as you uh, typical with yuzu soft games i've always heard uh yuzu soft games are described as fast food visual novels <laughs> like like they're just really standard and tropey and i guess that's uh te technically the case but i would say you know uh they they still have better dialogue than most visual novels uh it, it's just uh and they have really good music and they have really good production values so I, I don't know that to me that's still valuable you know it's it's so much better when your visual novel has good music good art and has better sprite resolution it's just so much better um, but, uh, Cafe Stella is my favorite Views of Soft game that I've read. I haven't read a ton. I've only read that, Sinren manga, and I believe I read one back in the day. I think it was Natsuzoro Kanata. I read that in, like, college, so that's forever ago. Um, but, uh, so, not like I'm a Views of Soft connoisseur, just, uh, that's my thoughts on that. I really, really like that game. But as far as story games have been... Uh, going. Obviously, I have not done a review of House of Fun F in Fata Morgana, but once again, if you like story games, that's top tier. It has a top tier translation, and it has top tier writing. It's just mmm, really, really good stuff. But, you know, might not... Don't play it if you want to be kind of down, I guess. <laughs> um, it, but if you like stuff like Umi Neko or Swan Song, absolutely give it a try. If you're, if you want something that's a little bit different, it's not very anime and it's a little more Western, then absolutely give it a try. Um, the only real flaw with that game is a, it doesn't have any voice acting in the main game. Like it has this expansion disc that has voice acting, oh, which I haven't really uh, played. Um, I think it was 
uh, I think it was like uh, House and Pata Morgana reincarnation. Or uh, uh, that might be the soundtrack actually. <laughs> but um, that the, there's that, and um, that it's just really good game. One of my uh, uh, one of SS Chan's uh, favorite um, visual novels for sure. Um, and then I played Investigations Two. Investigations 1 and 2 from the Phoenix Wright series, and Investigations 1 and 2, uh, put together, that's my favorite part of Phoenix Wright. Just, and I, it's probably just because Edgeworth is the best protagonist in the series. Just, he's more naturally interesting than Phoenix, and he's just, I don't know, he's got more personality than Phoenix, but it's also just, Investigations 2 is so goddamn good. It's not perfect. I'm not here to call it like, oh, it's better than every other Phoenix Wright game in every other way. But once again, if you recall from my Phoenix Wright review uh, of talking about all the games, is every Phoenix Wright game is worth playing. It's like the Yakuza series. You just, you got, if you're, you play one, you gotta play the rest if, if you're a big fan. You're either a big fan or you're not, right? And otherwise, you just play Phoenix Wright 1 and call it a day, right? Or at least play the main trilogy and call it a day. Uh, but Investigation 2, cannot recommend enough. If you like Phoenix Red games, you gotta check it out. And uh, I, uh, uh, you can watch the whole game on YouTube, actually, if you um, have no way to get that game. Um, I don't know if there's uh, the the translation available on YouTube is actually something you can patch into a Game Boy Advance ROM. Or, wait, it's a DS game. DS, DS ROM. Um, and... Uh, uh, but uh, if if that's available to you, uh, play it that way. If that's if it's just a translation that they put into a video, then I would at least I, I would highly like recommend watching it. But uh, if you prefer to play Phoenix Wright games, then uh, you know I, I can't stop. Uh, I get it. Trust me, I get it. It's very fun to play Phoenix Wright games, and it does lose something when you just watch it. But I still recommend. I recommend it because I don't know if we'll ever get it. So uh, it's one of those things where use your best judgment, but. Uh, I personally would recommend don't wait just watch it um, that's my recommendation because it's especially if you're itching for you know a very enjoyable visual novel experience that's one of them for sure and the tr fan translation is really good some of the writing is a bit repetitive but I'm sure it was like that in the the, tra the Japanese as well um, but uh, that, that's my only real critique is that it just has some repetitive writing in places but um, otherwise really really solid experience it paced well every act kind of builds on itself it's it, there's no filler in that game um really good emotional scenes really good character development from edgeworth it just really great ending hard to, there's no complaints really the, my only complaint is k in that series does feel like a prototype to athena uh, in some ways like she's not a bad character it just it, she, she just seems like a very simple athena if anything and I think, uh, you know, you don't see her again after this series, and I, I think that's the reason, is because Athena has basically replaced her in the series uh, in terms of being that kind of personality type. Uh, some people have asked me uh, about, how come you've never reviewed any Otomes? I don't know, I just I never think about reviewing Otomes or, or uh, well, playing Otomes in the first place. But there have been a few that, uh, you know, she, uh, SS Chan is the one who plays all of them. She's the one who all, likes all of them. Um, and she just tells me her thoughts on them. She gets really into them, like uh, when she got, uh, well, Collar X Malice. Um, or is it Collar Malice? <laughs> I'm not, um, but when she got that game, uh, she I could not pull her away from her Vita at all. Like, she just plowed right through that game. She just was on it until staying up all the way into the middle of the night playing that game. I'm like, dang, she really, really loves that game. Um, so that's the game I think pulled her in the most. Obviously, Code Realize really pulled her in. She loves Lupin. She can't stop telling me how much she loves Lupin. And she loves Cafe Enchante. She says Cafe Enchante is... Um, uh, the best one I think she's played. She, she's That's her favorite one. So if you want the Otome review, that is the number one Otome from SS <laughs> Chan. That's, that's her review of Otome games. <laughs> um, uh, Monsieur is her best boy. And uh, the <laughs> once again, absolutely can't stop talking about me about that kind of thing. But there is an Otome that we've kind of been reading together, which is a recent one, which is Cupid Parasite. And uh, that one's been pretty fun. Um, there, uh, once again, I like the protagonist, like all the boys. Um, she does not like the writer boy, though. She does not like. I don't. I don't remember his name off the top of my head. But literature boy, writer guy, not. She's not a big fan of him because you know he's kind of a whiner. He's kind of uh, obsessive. It is he just kind of, eh, I, I guess. But uh, to me, I'm like, well, you know, maybe his route 
uh, is good, but, but she's like, oh no, oh no. If uh, I get to his right, I'm just gonna fast forward. <laughs> I'm like, dang, and you shut down, right? So um, that's, uh, but overall, it's a it's a fun game. It, it's very much a turn your brain off kind of game. It's not the game, kind of game where you take it very seriously, but it, good music, good art. Everything about it is good. Uh, I think it has lip flaps too, from what I remember. Yeah, it has lip flaps too, so it has some production values as well. Um, Right now, we're currently reading through Ryuki's route, and like we've read through, what was it? The guy who says I'm number one at everything. <laughs> I'm always, uh, oh, I'm SS at everything, <laughs> right? Um, uh, that that route was very fun and very funny. Um, uh, just uh, maybe a little ridiculous, I, but uh, really fun and funny. And now we're reading through Ryuki's route, which I think is much better. Um, I think it's a little more serious and whatnot. I, I know I'm giving. I'm not trying to spoil the game i don't want to spoil anything but uh once again my review is hey it's really good yeah just <laughs> just uh uh if you like a f want a fun little slice of life game but or i guess it would be more adequate to call it an adventure game but um uh, that's my review on that it's it's fun uh so i have nothing against ultimates is my main point and uh but I, I can't give a full review of it or anything because we're not done with it you know we have a baby now so it's just kind of hard to even find time to play it. We were playing it before while she was pregnant, and, you know, we would just sit down and f just put it on autoplay or something, or re or I would uh, have a controller and just click through the text for, th for her, and, um, because we have it on Switch or whatever. And, um, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that game's been quite, quite, a. Uh, it's just, it's just fun and funny. It, it's, it, it, it's funny how those kind of games, though, where, like, in a care game, in a game with a lot of girls, you know, you always have those little fan service moments. I'm like, man, I wonder if Ultima games do the same thing. You know, like, in in a care game, they'll do the thing where they compare their breast size or whatever, talk about their breast size all the time. I'm like, man, can we move on from this kind of trope? I know that. But, uh, but in Ultima games, it's like, well, we have this scene where they're all comparing their penis sizes and i'm like is this a regular thing is this really a regular thing i, I don't know if that's a regular i don't think that's a regular thing but it, it, it does have the scenes where they just all put take their shirts off because you gotta have them gotta have them I'm like i'm glad that things are kind of equal so there's things that are fan service for girls and things that are fan service for men <laughs> so it's not like oh it's it's just uh <laughs> Just, I laughed at that thing. She was like, when that scene came on, she was like, oh my god, I can't believe I'm reading this with you. And I'm like, <laughs> I just I just laughed. I thought it was funny. <laughs> then uh, one of the other games that we went through, um, we actually went through this one together as well, was AI Seminium Files. And AI Seminium Files is a made by the Danganronpa people. And my thing about that game is I think it's very interesting. And I think it was good and enjoyable, and it was paced well. There was no pacing issues except for maybe one part, but really, there was no pacing issues. It has some really, really solid emotional moments. Like, the emotional moments are surprisingly solid. In fact, they're so solid, so real in many senses, especially with Hitomi. Jesus Christ, what a great character. Um, that... It's, uh, and I'm sorry if you hear my baby snoring in the background. Yeah, gotta hold him. He loves being held. <laughs> uh, don't wanna do this review without him. I think, uh, the biggest problem with that game is how jarring the comedy can be with how, like, like, sometimes the comedy is just, you know, just some really perverted kind of otaku stuff that just... Yeah, it doesn't need to be in the game. I'm not gonna. I, I don't think. I don't think it makes the characters in the game quirkier. I think it just makes the game seem unbelievable. I get that they were they were just trying to add some fun, but the comedy just feels lazy to me. Um, so there's like one scene which is okay. I'm not gonna spoil it because it is funny. But so I'm not trying to say the comedy never works in the game. But I will say the comedy isn't great in that game, and I really don't think. Uh, Date's, uh, I played it, obviously I played it in Japanese, as I play everything in Japanese. I know there's an English dub for that, and so, if you prefer English dubs, there you go. Um, but, um, uh, I, I, Date's Japanese actor isn't really what I would call a stellar actor for comedy, mainly. Ibo's is, but not Date, and I, th I think he's better for serious stuff, like, and you'll see that later on in the game. Um, uh, but overall, that, that game was good just not amazing there's nothing really amazing about that game 
other than, you know, the emotional scenes are quite good. The music can be quite good. It's nice to have a game where all the characters are animated, you know, at all times, because they're all 3D models, which unfortunately comes with the problem of limited expression in their faces, but at the same time, it is just nice to see them moving at all times. It's always immersive and whatnot. Uh, I don't know. I, 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 it's nice to have variety is my thing. I'm not saying I prefer it over sprites, but it is nice. It, it's better to have 3D models, in my opinion, that are moving around than to have low quality sprites. Uh, if you ask me, but, you know, I know a lot of the big vision novels don't have that. Mm, but, uh, overall, that game has my recommendation. It's a enjoyable little ride. It has some interesting plot points. It has some, it has a interesting gameplay mechanic that can be a little irritating as well. But, uh, it, it's an enjoyable visual novel. It's something different. And th this game isn't a visual novel per se, it was on the visual novel database for like a little bit, then they took it off, but I, I, it's my strongest recommendation of the games I didn't talk about, which is Aegis Rim. Aegis Rim is just phenomenal. I love that game. She loved that game. We, we went through that game together as well. I love that game. She loved that game. It was just so good. I, I can't say it enough, and the, the sad part about it is I really don't even want to say anything about it, because the whole game is a spoiler. Like, it is, it has that many, all, my only spoiler is expect plot twist after plot twist after plot twist, and that's it. Uh, just, like, it's more of an adventure game, so, than a visual novel, I suppose, is why. Uh, regardless, if you like visual novels, play Aegis Rim. You're gonna like it, trust me. Even, and if you're not a fan of the gameplay, I believe there's an easy mode, so you can just breathe breeze through the battle system, like any visual novel with an RPG battle system. It's usually just an um, auto-win button. <laughs> so uh, uh, I believe there's a way to basically just essentially skip most of the gameplay. I played the gameplay, and it was fine. It was fun. Um, but um, that's that's my kind of opinion on that is that uh you're definitely playing it for the story and um all i can really say is just as a caveat is maybe not expect the greatest of character development maybe not expect the yeah that basically that is that don't expect the most balanced cast don't expect the most the greatest of character development but do expect a very unique interesting story that still uses its characters well and is a very satisfying experience, if you ask me. Um, I, I, I really, I, to do a talk about it anymore would be of extreme spoilers. But that game has as high of that that game is on my top ten list for sure. If it, if if it were to count as a visual novel, it would be on my top ten list, no question to ask. I love that game. Great art, great music. Love, just that game is for me. That game is for me. I love that game. Aim. I just I could not recommend it enough. It, it, it is just I wish we could get more of those kind of games. It's, it's, it's when I was finished, I'm like, ah, oh, I, I kind of want to play it again. Or, and you know, I've watched several bits of it again and again. You know, so I could actually it's, it's pretty fresh on my mind, so I actually could talk about it. So anyway, I know there's other visual novels I haven't talked about, like Baldur Sky or Deity of Day, that have also gotten translations recently or in the last few years. Um, that and um. Uh, I don't think, I think for those two in particular, I don't think I'm ever going to do a review of those two. Those are the only two I'm including, because it's just, eh, neither of those games really interest me, to be perfectly honest. I know people love those games, I know people love those games, they just don't interest me, and I, I think it's just better to stay away with what do doesn't interest me at this point. I'm really interested in the the other game by Light that apparently takes place after the one of the endings in DSRA, which was like, Katekuri Kagura or something. It's got this weird name. It's, it's like, it's, it's abbreviation is KKK. Yeah, really. I'm really interested in that game. That game has amazing artwork and it, the setting looks, you know, fresh and whatnot. So I'm like, okay, that game looks cool. I, uh, maybe I'll check that out. And maybe that will make me want to read DSRA. We'll, we'll see. I don't know. I don't even know if I'll have the time for that, to be honest. That's the biggest problem with visual writing novels right now is that I barely have the time for them. That's why I typically stick with care gays because they're just usually light, easy reading. You know, if I don't get fully into them, that's not a big it, it's not a big deal, right? And I guess uh, to end this, uh, so anyway, guys, I just wanted to give you a little quick. Uh, I just wanted to give you an update to say yes, I still read visual novels, and no, and uh, you know. Uh, I apologize if uh, any of my reviews uh, set people off in the past. I know that not everyone agrees with what I had to say, and I, you know, and I definitely do think I could have said um, 
could have said things a lot better um, and could have written things a lot better. I've been watching a lot. I, I, that's one thing I have been doing is I watch a lot, and I mean a lot, of game reviews these days. Just or reviews of things in general these days, and I kind of see, oh yeah, this is kind, this is a better way to handle this. This is a better way to, you know, make these kind of points or whatever. I just, you know, you, you learn a little bit. Uh, back in the day, I think I was, I won't lie, I was one of those people who was probably a little, little influenced by angry video game nerd syndrome, and it's like, yeah, uh, you know, that's not necessarily a great way to approach things. Um, I, I tried not. I, I, even then, I was trying to consciously like not bring that too much in my reviews you know it was also a way for me to just vent my frustrations and get it out but at the end of the day you know that is what it is um so i hope you guys so if there's anything you're really interested in me talking about just let me know and i could at least get my thoughts on it but i swear if it's a character it's gonna be it's not it's just not gonna be an interesting review it's like characters to me are guilty pleasures that's what they are, and, um, you know, I love them to death, but it's like, every review would be the same. But if, but regardless, you know, if you would like me to talk about them, <laughs> let me know, I guess. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you guys later. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.